friends in today's video we will be discussing about attributes control charts and in this we will be discussing the first chart that is the p chart all right now first of all let us see what are the control charts for attributes now it is like when you have to uh, like uh, count the characteristics of the process rather than measuring it like for example if you say on a car how many uh, like uh, if in a sample sorry in a sample how many items were defective that can be actually counted right but the length of each item it cannot be counted it can be actually measured right so there for the attributes there are two types of charts one is the p chart and the one another one is the c chart right now p chart it is like p stands for proportion where you are actually finding out the fraction of defective items in a sample like if you people must have heard it somewhere that 50% of the uh, like sample was defective or 10% of the car has been damaged it it these kind of terms are used right and in such scenarios we use p chart and the opposite one c chart wherein actually we can count the number of defects in the item that is known as a c chart now p chart is appropriate when you have to uh, like uh, uh, like when you have to give one kind of uh, uh, you have two options available and out of those two options you have to choose either one like if a student is giving the exam he will have two options either he will pass the exam or he will fail the exam if you are producing any item either it will be a good item or it is going to be a bad item if you have purchased any new machinery either it is going to work or it is not going to work so wherein you have only two options and out of those two options you are choosing one for over there we use the p charts like for example if the glass bottles are inspected for chipping and cracking right both the good bottles and the defective ones can be counted you can actually count how many bottles were defective and how many bottles were not defective all right now p chart is used to monitor the proportion of defective items generated by a process right that how much items were defective fine and the theoretical basis of p chart is the binomial distribution they actually follow the binomial distribution for uh, like uh, but we for the large sample sizes we generally norm, uh, we generally use the normal distribution for the approximation all right now let's have the formula for the p chart then how to find out like in my previous video of me chart and range chart i have already told you what is the upper control limit and what is the lower control limit like this is the lower control limit and this is the upper control limit fine and this is the central line that is control limit fine now for this the formulas for p chart are ucl and lcl these are the formulas and how to find out the sigma p sigma p is under root of p into 1 minus p divided by n right let's understand this with the help of an example there is an inspector who counted the number of defective monthly billing statements of a company's telephone in each of the 20 samples so there are total 20 samples in every sample he has counted how many billing statements were defective all right now this is given like in the first sample seven statements were defective in the second 10 were defective in the third sample 12 items were defective and so on fine now use the following information you need to construct a control chart which is going to describe 99.74% of the chance variation now when the process is in control and each sample contains 100 statements fine every sample has 100 so that means out of 100 7 were defective in the first sample in the second sample out of 100 10 were defective in the third sample out of 100 12 were defective and so on fine now how to apply the p chart this is the formula p bar first of all you need to find out p bar what is p bar total number of defectives divided by total number of observations now total number of defectives in the statement it is in the question if you will add this column number of defectives if you will add all this column the total number of defectives are 220 ठीक है टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिफेक्ट डिफेक्टिव हाउ मच दे आर टू ट्वेंटी नाउ द डिनोमिनेटर इट इज आस्किंग यू टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन 
Now total number of observations, how many samples we have? 20 samples. And in every sample, how many statements he has taken? 100. Okay. So that means he has done the inspection of 100 statements in one sample. So for 20 samples, how many, uh, like how many observations must be there? For 20 into 100, it is going to give 2000. So your total number of observations is 2000. So this is going to be like this. So your P bar is 0 0.11. And how to calculate sigma P? Under root of this is the formula. This value we have already calculated and what is n? n is the number of observations in each sample. That is 100. We are calculating standard deviation. So in standard deviation, you are going to generally look for the uh, like how many observations in every sample has been taken. That is n is equal to 100. So this is going to be your value after the calculation. Now what you have to do, you have to simply put down the values in upper control limit formula and lower control limit formula. P bar is 0.11. Z value is 3 which is given in the question. Sigma P bar we have already calculated. So these are the control limits of the P chart. Now next it is asking you to construct the P chart. Now this is the lower control limit 0 0.161. This is 0 0.2039 which we have already calculated. Right. So how to do that? On x axis you have the sample number. Like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We have total 20 samples. So 20 uh, the scale has been chosen appropriately. On the y axis you are going to plot the defective items proportion of fraction of defective items right so in that you are going to do the plotting of uh, like a fraction defective items now let's see i mentioned you earlier in the first sample seven were defective out of 100 so how much proportion it is 0 0.07 for second sample 10 divided by 100 it is going to be 0 0.10 then 0 0.12. Why I am dividing by 100? Because in every sample he said there are 100 statements, right? And out of those 100 statements, he has found that 7 were defective. So what is the proportion of defective items? 7 divided by 100, that is 0 0.07. Similarly, for the second sample, 10 out of 100 were there. And similarly, you will do it for all the samples. This is going to be 0 0.11. This is going to be 0 0.10. This is going to be 0 0.18, this is going to be 0 0.13, this is 0 0.10 and this is going to be 0 0.08, 0 0.12, this is going to be 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.16 and so on, right? So for every sample you will do the plotting. This is how you have to plot and I am assuming my dear students that you know how to plot the values on the xy graph right now you people see this particular value is following after the control limit it is this value is beyond the control limit that means it is not acceptable and this is the value of 20th sample so at 20th sample the process is going out of control and over here supervision needs to be done and the corrective action needs to be taken. Alright, so this was all about how to construct the P chart, how to do the calculations of the P chart. In my upcoming video, we will be solving the C chart numerical also. If you like my video, then please do subscribe to my channel and mention your views in the comment section. Thank you.